this episode of Saber Bytes, we'll explain how the stable swap mechanism works. For a quick background, automated market makers, or AMMs, are smart contracts that allow users to exchange between pooled assets. For example, I can exchange token X for token Y using an AMM which stores that token pair. Stable swap is a mathematical mechanism designed to set the price. How many Y tokens should I get for one X token? Stable swap is specifically optimized for assets that trade at nearly the same value. For example, two different US stablecoins like USDC and USDT. Stable swap combines two famous AMM mechanisms, the first of which is a constant product AMM. This was made famous by Uniswap and SushiSwap on Ethereum. We can see the quantity of X tokens on the X axis and the quantity of Y tokens on the Y axis. When someone makes a trade, we use this function to determine how many of each token should be left in the pool afterward. X times Y is equal to some constant. As people make trades, we move along the curve and the price changes. This mechanism is great for assets that have variable prices or volatile prices, but the movement along the curve creates unwanted price slippage when we're trading stable assets. What if tokens X and Y were always exactly the same price? Well, then we could use something called a constant sum AMM without having any problems. In a constant sum AMM, I can always get one Y token for my X token, which is described by the rule X plus Y is equal to some constant. However, this doesn't work for real life stable coins very well because these coins usually fluctuate naturally around their pegs and occasionally even lose pegs. Thus, with constant sum, arbitrageurs would quickly drain the pool of the less valuable token. In stable swap, we combine the constant product AMM with the constant sum mechanism by adding the two mechanisms. To encode our knowledge, assets will always trade near the same price while also giving availability and liquidity at any price. We dynamically weight how much each mechanism contributes using a parameter I'll call gamma. When gamma is very large, our mechanism approximates a constant sum mechanism. And as gamma gets very small and goes to zero, it becomes the constant product. Thus, in the stable swap algorithm, we'll design gamma to be dynamically decreasing as the pool becomes out of balance, so that there's always liquidity. A is called the amplification parameter, and it's used to express the base level confidence in the pegs for the two assets. You can see this parameter for every Sabre pool on our website. A is then scaled by the ratio of the product of all the token quantities to what this product would be in perfect balance. So when the pool is perfectly balanced, gamma is exactly equal to A. And as the pool gets out of balance, Gamma becomes smaller. And that's it. That's how Stable Swap works. Subscribe for more Saber Bytes.